for more, we're joined by Jörg Rochol of the European School of Management and Technology in Berlin. And you can probably tell us why uh, German IT is so much less interesting to U.S. companies. I think it mainly has to do with the strength of the U.S. Um, IT industry and the clusters that have developed over the last decades. So if we think of the Silicon Valley or the Boston area, we have a, a huge cluster of, say, venture capitalists, suppliers and employees that know very well the industry and understand how um, to make an IT business grow. So how could German companies catch up, if at all? Well, there are certainly um, lots of chances to, to learn and um, to, to see how things are practiced uh, in the United States. Um, at the same time, we have uh, different strengths in Germany uh, in different industries, say automotive or engineering industry, uh, which ex exactly have the same advantages in being clusters uh, in their own. Now, you lived in the U.S. for about eight years, I believe, so you probably know the differences in way of life and the way of work between the two countries very well. Which would you say is the main difference? I think it's always hard to nail down general differences between the U.S. and Germany. At the same time, what I always appreciated a lot in the U.S. educational system is the target to implement and to apply uh, theoretical concepts. And I think this may actually be an advantage for students when they later on go in the market and try to sell their products.